Yeah, joy does not come naturally for me at all. I'm by nature melancholic and introspective and critical, and I live in the Pacific Northwest of America, which is miserable weather just like England, you know? And I'm from California originally, and it ruined me. What can I say? And so none of this comes naturally to me. It's had to be very much like counterformation and counter habits to those of my culture. And really it's all come back to what many writers call the spiritual discipline of celebration or what the writers of scripture tend to just call delight or rejoicing, which is where you just intentionally focus your mind and even your body on the goodness of your life before God and the simple pleasures of your life before God. It doesn't mean that you don't take seriously and grieve over and engage with social injustice and the issues of our day. It just means that you don't let them define your perception of reality. So I think there's a, there's a kind of outer work that's more about what you do with your body of kind of just simple celebration, eating good meals, spending time with friends, rest, slowing down, watching the sunset. And then there's that inner work of things like gratitude, releasing the need for control and your life to go the way that you want it to go in order to be happy coming to just trust in Jesus, turning anxiety and sadness over to him in prayer, that kind of inner work that is more mental and more spiritual that grows in tandem. And between those two things, like with your mind set on joy and your body moved into joy, I think year over year, I feel, I still have a long ways to go, but I feel more joyful now than I ever have. And this is coming from somebody, I was on antidepressants, I was suicidal, I could barely get out of bed in the morning. And that's not to say I figured it out and this here's the formula, but I think there is something about a discipline and a dedication to the spiritual discipline of delight and rejoicing and celebration that over the years changes your inner woman or man to make you more joyful like Jesus is joyful.